This is a display of what is welded into the weldment on the top of that vessel to allow the vessel to be opened up for refill. It is a 10 inch, five lug, cam lock action closure. The yellow attachment on top is an addition that Axiom designed and has implemented a standard that is a safety device that we call the Haylock. The issue with the closure without the Haylock is that people did not follow proper procedure in opening them, meaning that this closure is designed such that you want to retain the bolt in the lug as you release the handle. As you release the handle down, the bolt lifts up due to the cam action of the mechanism. So proper procedures say that you maintain the bolt in the lug while the handle is down. Once you've released one, you come across the unit, maintaining the bolt in the lug and releasing the cam lock. Such across until all five cam locks are deactivated. Principle behind this is, is with the cam action allowing the bolts to rise, if there were still pressure in this vessel, the pressure itself would try to lift that lid up and you would have a leak because the O-ring would lose its seal. Well, as long as all five bolts are still in the lugs, the operator is still safe should there be pressure still in the vessel. The problem was, was that that wasn't being done. There were operators out there who would drop one and drop a bolt. They would drop another and drop the bolt out of the lug. Well, by the time that they released three bolts, two on one side holding it, if there was still pressure in here, the lid would blow up and people were drastically hurt, quite frankly. The second problem that the lug, uh, uh, the closures had was due to lack of maintenance, the cam locks did not work properly. People would not service these, they would not keep them lubricated, and the cam action itself wouldn't, loop, wouldn't work. There's been instances where people then would get on top and take a hammer and hammer these bolts out of the lugs. And about the time that the third bolt was hammered out of the lugs, stuff blows up bad deal. So Axiom decided we needed a safer mechanism to keep these operators safe. By design, this Haylock prevents these bolts from coming out. The handles themselves are what index this Haylock in place. One handle down, one bolt free, but can't come all the way out of the lug, and you can't turn the Haylock out of position until all five handles are down. So it mandates that all five bolts are in place until all five handles are down, therefore allowing the haylock to be moved. And you know at that point that that vessel is depressurized and you can remove the lugs, uh, the bolts from their lugs and open and access for a fill port. Lastly, the haylock mandates that all five lugs are in place before any cam lock is closed back down. Reason for that is you want that lid to be pulled back down level. Well, if you were to go about it one lug at a time without the other three or four bolts being in place, you can pull this lid down uneven, therefore not having a good seal on your O-ring. All five bolts have to be in the lugs in order to get your haylock back into position to enable all five cam actions to be closed again. Just as importantly, should these cam lock actions not be kept, not be serviced properly, a man cannot get to that with a hammer. With the incorporation of the haylock onto this five lug cam action closure, it's the safest mechanism we currently know of to protect your workers.